Good morning. The examinations for elements of social and applied psychology are being held in this room. Please read the instructions to your exam carefully and follow them thoroughly. Raise your hand at any time if you want assistance. When you've finished, place the examination booklet on the table and leave quietly. It's been a pleasure. When you receive your examination booklets, you may begin. Psychologist David Rosenham, PhD. If sanity and insanity exist, how shall we know them? Discuss. My first glimpse of awareness came to me when I was in the first year of my current undergraduate degree. I would take the tube twice a week to go to the university library, usually around eight in the evening. The library was quieter at that time, which meant I could get more work done. Home. A woman in her late thirties sat in the carriage. The carriage she sat in was empty. The reason being, no doubt, that she appeared to be quite insane. There was this hurt tone in her voice of someone who had been wronged. As the train approached Hoban Station, she stood up and walked towards the door. Was this her stop? That was my stop too. So I got off behind her. She was so absorbed in her own thoughts that she was totally unaware of her surroundings. When I exited the tube station, it was snowing.
candidates, you have 30 minutes remaining. I started to make my way towards the university. And I suddenly saw the crazy woman again. My curiosity aroused. I decided to follow her as long as she walked in the same direction I had to go in. She was still engaged in her imaginary world. Although engrossed in her imaginary dialogue, she seemed to know where she was heading. we were within sight of the Senate House, the university's library. I was shocked. Was it possible that we were going to the same place? Was she a teacher? A student? A librarian? Maybe she was some psychologist's research project. By the time I entered the hall, she had already been swallowed up by the building. I looked upon the professors as sages who had all the answers, and upon the university as a temple of knowledge. How could an insane person like her be a part of this? I didn't realise yet that thinking without awareness is the main dilemma of human existence. I was still thinking about her when I was in the bathroom. I really hope I don't end up like her. I really don't. I suddenly was shocked when I realised that I hadn't just thought those words, but mumbled them aloud. There were only minor differences between us. Candidates, you have one minute remaining. The underlying emotion behind her thinking was sadness. In my case, it was mostly anxiety. She thought out loud. I thought mostly in my head. If she was mad, then everyone was mad, including myself. There were differences in degree only. Time. 